Okay. So we got Nate Hunter here. <clears throat> Nate's got his, his earbuds in. I always felt that you can really judge someone by what kind of music they listen to. Uh, I'm fortunate enough that you know, my wife, my wife's from a family where they never really valued music at all, and I'm fortunate enough to be from a family where music was a pretty big deal. So I've got a pretty good, I've got about, and this is is I'm not like making this up. I have a whole hard drive just about music with music. About 40,000 MP3s back from my college years. So I, I always am interested in, in what people are listening to because I feel like you can really figure out what type of person they are, especially if they're listening to unique stuff. All right. Enough of, enough of that. Okay. So Nate threw at Northeastern. Um... I threw against him a few times. I think I did. I'm not sure, Nate. You could correct me on that. So, Nate, to start, I usually like a little taller start, a little more comfortable start. And then, you, you, like, a, a taller start with a little bit of drop on that knee out of the back just because I think it creates a little bit more of a you know that that eccentric when you're when you do drop can can generate a little bit more motor unit recruitment out of the back on that left. Um, if you're comfortable with this start, then by all means keep at it. But I, I think I I prefer more like a Hoffa start out of the back. I don't really dislike this start though. Um, very good pickup time out of the back. I. If if this was from the back side, I'd like to see how much weight is over that left side. Because um, I, I like, you know, this image right here that you see with you. I like that to be, you know, mirrored when you're coming around the left out of the back. Which is right here. And this is why I always say I, I don't understand why guys start lower. So you've got this knee angle here, and then as you're coming up, you you rotate pretty long down that left sector line, and now you've got you know almost almost full extension on that left knee. I, I would I would venture to say right here that you are fully extended. Um, so you're not at the same angle at this point where that right leg where that right leg is. Okay, is that an SBD sleeve? I think it is. So I think out of the back, I do like your your right side here. I I think it could be a hair lower, you know, with a little bit lower sweep because you you do get a little bit too much room in between the the knees here. I would want you right about here to just keep that low, keep that low and cut it a little sooner. Because as you can see, you get real, real caught up here at the front, okay? So, out of the back, you know, I like your left arm. I like that right there. But then even here, I don't really like what your left's doing here. I would prefer that that left arm is, is a little bit longer so you've got a little more weight on that right. So, if you had a longer left arm there... When that left grounds, so your left grounds right about here, and by ground I mean your left heel's down, I want that shot to be behind your right foot. And it's not, I know that's not a, man, I'm trying to get a straight line here. It's almost in line with that right foot. I would prefer, I would prefer if you had that longer left, that that's back here. So you've got a little bit more weight back and then that's going to give you a little bit more time to transfer out into the sector so to start i want you to stay down on that left a little more cut the right to the middle a little sooner you're a little too you're too extended here cut that you know your right foot should be landing in this area and you get you can really see there how tight you are okay Now your left's still grounded, so that's good. At the front, your left is grounded. That, yeah, dude, I think if you fix that entry, 
you get that right down a little bit sooner, you cut it tighter, you're going to have a lot more room to play at the front, and then you won't be fouling this. Like this throw, you, you don't have a prayer keeping this in. But if you get a little bit tighter entry out of the back and a little longer left arm, you know, look at Kovacs, look at Rody. I have I have a picture of Rody and Kovacs, um, like a stitch picture that I put them next to each other with their PRs and the and their left arms very long back and and what helps that helps them catch the weight back and then they can work that front longer and they can accelerate longer off the pad. You know, your finish isn't bad. It's your the, the bad parts of your finish are caused by your your entry. So that right gets down quicker then your left's going to have more time to come around to that corner, but your right's so long that your left doesn't have time to come around and give you a little bit more torque from that left side. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to say this, this video, you've got to focus on everything and not doing this, not riding a horse here out of the back. You're riding a draft horse. <laughs> so cut right here, cut that right down. I always say for guys like squeeze your balls, flex your, you know, tighten up your groin so that it cuts down and that's going to give you more room. But dude, I mean, this is still, you know, you've got, obviously you're good. You're throwing over 19 plus. So fix this entry and you're going to have a lot more room to work and, and go 20 plus if you clean some shit up. And Nate, if you want to, if you're ever interested in online programming, let me know. Cause I'd, I'd love to help you go freaking 20 plus man.